Hey everyone, uh, my name is Dan McLean Jr. and I'm here to tell you a true family story. Now my plan is to keep the camera rolling all day for one long continuous shot and I'm just going to say everything that I know about my family's connection to Winnie the Pooh. Uh, then at the end I'll just edit it down to a couple of minutes for you. Thanks very much for tuning in, hope you enjoy it. A young fellow named Harry Colburn went to veterinary college right here in Guelph, Ontario, Canada. And then he moved west to Winnipeg. So in 1914, Harry Colburn enlisted in the Canadian Armed Forces. And on a train on his way to Valcartier, Quebec for a training camp, during a stopover in White River, Ontario, he bought an orphaned baby black bear cub from a trapper. He called that bear Winnipeg. A little Winnie the Cub became the unofficial mascot of Harry's regiment. When Harry and his regiment were dispatched to the Western Front in Europe during World War I, Harry left Winnie to live temporarily at the London Zoo in England. Winnie was very tame and uh, she very quickly became one of the most popular attractions at the London Zoo. Kids would pet her and ride her and feed her. Apparently it was uh, pretty amazing to see. Uh, two of Winnie's most frequent visitors were author A. A. Milne and his little boy Christopher Robin. And very soon Winnie became Christopher's favorite. Christopher loved Winnie so much that one day he changed his favorite teddy bear's name from Edward Bear to Winnie the Pooh. And his dad was so inspired by Christopher and Winnie that he wrote the Winnie the Pooh books. Now Harry's plan was that after the war he would take Winnie back to Canada with him and have her live at the Winnipeg Zoo. But when he saw how comfortable and happy she was at the zoo, and how happy she'd made Londoners, he decided to leave Winnie there, and that's where she lived for the rest of her life, right there at the London Zoo. This is where my family's part of the story comes in. When my grandma McLean died, my dad and my brother Rob went up to Kuwaitin, our hometown, for the funeral. There was lots of family there. When I asked dad and Rob to tell me about all the relatives they've seen, many of whom even dad hadn't seen in many decades. They talked about uncle so-and-so and auntie such-and-such -and, -such and of course the Winnie the Pooh story and cousin so-and-so and I said, what? Wait, the Winnie the Pooh story? Turns out that my grandma's Aunt Christine married Harry Colburn, the soldier who adopted Winnie. Now everyone knows that an adopted child is as much a part of the family as a biological child. So Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh and I are first cousins twice removed. What now? That's right. Winnie the Pooh and I are first cousins twice removed. Same goes for my brother Rob. Same goes for my cousins Sharon and Doug, Pat, Phyllis, Kaylee. My brother's daughter, Robin, and all my cousin's kids are first cousins three times removed. My grandniece, Robin's daughter, Brooke, is first cousin four times removed. My grandma and all her brothers and sisters were Winnie's first cousins. My dad, his brothers, Bill and Rod, and all their first cousins were Winnie's first cousins once removed. I love my family. I love my aunts and uncles and my cousin and my grandparents and all the family members that I've never even met. And this is, uh, this is one piece of our family history that really tickles me to no end. I hope you enjoyed it.